Hey, Jordan Royan here from evitaminb.com and today I just want to talk to you about the nutrition in, in our food. Um, over the last sort of 60, 70 years, the, the nutrition in our food has been going down and it's mostly due to the fact that our food is so processed. Uh, it got, all of the money from the food industry is going to the processing plants and they're really not good for us. Uh, they add things to the food, they add preservatives and things which are bad for us. They pretty much take away most of the good things in our food. They superheat a lot of it to make sure it's sterile, but that also gets rid of all the good bacteria and the good enzymes and things in, in different products. David Thomas, a chiropractor and a nutritionist, actually trawled through a load of the government um, sort of uh, records and things and found that food in general from the 1940s up till now has gone down in, in nutrition a heck of a lot. And that's m almost all due to the processing plants and the way in which we are m manufacturing our food in CFOs, confined feeding operations. And he found that uh, in milk and cheese especially, lots of things have dropped. Uh, iron has dropped by 60% in those 70 years. It's lost 2% of its calcium and the milk has lost 21% of its magnesium too. And this is happening in a lot of cheeses and a lot of other dairy products. And all of our products are changing on the shelves. Things are getting more sugary, and the reason for that is that the food industry wants us to be addicted to sugar, which is what happens when you eat too much sugar. Now, the food and farming industry argues that that's because modern testing methods are better than the old ones. However, the Food Standards Agency and a lot of other farming experts have said that, that uh, methods of testing these things have been accurate since the 19th century. So there's really no reason why these statistics would be, would be so different, other than that they are correct in that the nutrition of our food now has gone down drastically since uh, processed plants and processing our food has become uh, so profitable. Now the scientists behind this, this uh, research says that a lot, of, a lot of this nutrition has come from uh, industrializing our food systems and CFOs and and processing plants and all of these things have contributed to our food lacking in nutrition. If we don't feed our animals a varied diet, if we don't uh, give our the soil the right nutrition, how can we expect our food to have the right nutrition? So if you want to discover how you can get the nutrition into your body, learn the secrets about what the food industry and what the processing plants don't want you to know and what's really in your food, click the link in the description, you'll come through to our eVitamin B website where we're given away a free report at the moment and you can learn all about GMO crops all of the all of the secrets are revealed that the farm industry don't want you to know and you can learn how to proper properly get the nutrition into your body that we need to survive